New at four, cases like the killings of Iowa college students Molly Tibbetts and Celia Barking bring an important issue to the forefront. Young women often are the targets of deadly assaults, and it can happen anywhere. Locally reported incident at WIU's campus is making some students feel a sense of danger, but they only found out about it because of a post on social media by the woman it happened to. I spoke to the student who says she was chased by a man in the middle of the night. I took off running whenever I looked behind me once I got in between cars after I said, like, help, like, someone's chasing me. The student was walking from her room to her vehicle in El Lot at about 1 a.m. Saturday when she heard something in the tall grass on the hill near Washington Hall. She says a man yelled at her and then started down the hill towards her. The OPS report says when the subject began down the hill, the student ran to her car. That's the path that, like, all of us will walk down at night. That's the path that all females and males take alone every single night after parking their car. She noticed the man was no longer following her after she reached her vehicle. The student wrote on Twitter, PSA to everyone living in Link Wash Grody. The other night, around 1 a.m., a male jumped out from the weed area behind the steps and chased me to L lot near my car until he realized I was on the phone getting help. Don't walk anywhere alone or go anywhere without protection. That is the only reason why I reached out to social media was because whenever I had spoken to one of my friends who is one of the leaders of like my building complex, she had no idea and it had already been four days since it had happened. The incident was sent in an email to resident advisors on campus, but in the public safety report sent from OPS for September 14th through September 16th, the incident was not included. And so OPS hadn't let anyone know, they just kind of put it in their case files and that's why I put, put it on social media because no one knew about it. She says OPS gave her tips on how to stay safe, but she's upset that her story wasn't widely shared. In the report, the woman says that she and another friend heard similar sounds in the bushes early Friday morning around the same time, but did not see anyone. The person is described as a black male with a shaved head wearing a black shirt and black shorts. We contacted the Office of Public Safety today for an interview, but they have not responded to our request. The police say that the case is closed. News 3 will keep you up to date with any new information. For News 3, I'm Zach Stone.